Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here we have the Massagrade F91 2.0. So, what about this kit? Well, this kit was just recently re recently released in uh, May 19th, I believe. Uh, so about a, you know less than a week ago, and I know there's a lot of mixed kind of reviews out there, like people saying, "Oh, why does this you know need to be uh, updated to a 2.0? Um, you know, this kit doesn't look like it's anything much different than the uh, than the original 1.0." Uh, so on and so forth. Well, with me having only built the 2.0 and I have not built the 1.0, uh, I could definitely say off the bat, I, I really love this kit. Um, it has quite a few flaws, don't get me wrong, and we'll go over them over, uh, over the review. But in general, you know what? It does have some cool kind of features to it, and uh, I think the overall presentation of this kit is pretty good. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the articulation. Okay, so before we get into the, like, the articulation review and everything, uh, I'm definitely going to address the elephant in the room, which is all this like goldish streaks all around it. Uh, well, there's a mode that this thing goes into, which is the after image uh, mode. It it has like a very gold uh, like aura around it, but I don't think like the actual mobile suit itself um, kind of like. It doesn't. I don't think it shines gold. I, I would have to like watch the movie again or, or pull up some snapshots. But what I was seeing is that they, there, if there, if there is a tint of gold on the mobile suit, it's just very, very light. Um, so I, I want to really recreate that with this suit. Like, okay, it's kind of like all right, it's in its um, after image mode. And the best way I thought about it was kind of just like almost like shading, but lining it up with a uh, kind of like gold effect. So I'm not really too happy with it. Like me personally, I don't think it looks that great. Um, but hey, it was an experiment. I wanted to try it, see how it looks like, and then uh, whenever I build the 1.0, I can go ahead and try a different technique on that one. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the head. Okay, so with the head, um, you, you know what? It, it looks good overall. I love the um, the overall aesthetics of it. I think it is a fine looking head, um, but this is the problem the, this head in particular can interchange with this open vent uh, faceplate so I don't know if this is just kind of like a part of the whole uh, ordeal of it but like this piece is, is just it just rests like I try to plug it in as hard as I can but it's a very loose piece and then the overall um, top of the head this comes off as well and I don't know if that's just a, a throwback to the um, to the OVA when they kind of like had this part off anyways and all you saw was this uh, front you know faceplate um, but essentially that th this is just very very loose but essentially what you need to do to uh, put it into this like open vent uh, mode so you basically take all this off and then you're gonna kind of pop this little sorry for the uh, the blurriness but you're going to pop the faceplate off actually so take the uh, the little chin thing and move this to the side you're gonna take the eyes off as well, and you're gonna put all that on the open vent face. So put the eyes right back, put the little mustache right back on, and then you're gonna plug this into that same socket right there, and then lastly, you want to put this right on top, like so, and finally, you're gonna put this little piece on top as well. So um, that's just, this, this head in particular, that's this gimmick for it. Also, you get a second head. Uh, so if you really don't want to go through all that hassle and you just want to transform it like like pretty much on the um, on the mobile suit itself, um, I didn't detail this up. I didn't detail this at all because I'm not going to use it. Uh, but basically, you open up these panels right here, and you're going to open up this faceplate, and you're going to tuck it into the back, like so. So pretty much like try and like push them in as far as you can. And then you're just gonna bring these back, and then there you go. Um, I just, I really just didn't care for this head. Uh, you're gonna have to paint these uh, Vulcans right here yellow. But other than that, I mean, it's essentially the same thing. But I don't know. I kind of just prefer keeping that head over this one. Um, I guess it's, I don't know. It's kind of a weird preference of mine. But you, hey, you got two different heads. And another thing I just want to address is how cool that faceplate is. Uh, so essentially the only reason that the uh, the vents open up like that, I guess, is to release heat uh, that is stored within the mobile suit. But it kind of looks like a normal face because it has like a little nose right there. But uh, yeah, I think it looks really, really dope. 
And as far as stickers, you are gonna get two different uh, sets of stickers uh, for the eyes, two different ones for the front camera, and then two for the back of the camera for both heads. Okay, let's take a look at the body. Um, so overall, the body is, I mean, it looks really good. Uh, you're gonna have like some little gold pieces underneath here. Um, maybe it might be a little bit too hard to see, uh, cause even like me trying to look at it, you know, in you know, real time, uh, I can kind of see the gold, but overall it's, uh, it's a little bit difficult to see. Um, just because there's so much black and I guess the shadows or whatever, but uh, yeah, you're gonna have some gold parts underneath there and um, the, the only like real gimmick about the uh, the body is that this um, This part comes down so you can go ahead and expose the cockpit uh, Which is pretty cool overall and uh, the overall articulation so it can go down about that much So a decent ab crunch and then it can come back about that much and then rotate uh, Back and forth. I usually don't try and like push it Oops, don't try to push it too far. Uh, but it looks like the back skirt that just fell off is probably gonna hinder it just a little bit. All right, let's take a look at the arms. Uh, so the only thing that I put on here, uh, actually the only thing I put on the entire kit, uh, as far as decals, uh, which is the dry applies, is the FN91. Um, that, that's really it. I really don't care for the more uh, kind of real world mechanical uh, like decals, like caution and all that. Well, in this case, stickers. Um, so I went ahead and opt out and not use them because I want to kind of keep it more anim anime accurate uh, as much as I can. So looking at the uh, the shoulders, they basically go up that far, not really too bad. They're gonna be on these like little, um, it's, I don't, don't want to say a hinge, uh, but it just connects uh, by plugging into the, uh, the peg right there. So plugs into there and then the arm is gonna plug in right afterwards, uh, so Pretty good articulation for the shoulders themselves. Uh, the arms can go out that much and they can obviously swivel right below the bicep. Um, they can come forward, they, you know, basically do a whole 360, so uh, no issue with that. Now the, uh, the actual shoulder, there's a joint right here that's gonna pop it out and come out that far, so that's actually pretty good. We got some good articulation going on right there. Uh, we also have the vent, have the uh, the vents in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait until I want to put the whole thing in kind of its um, hyper mode. And then uh, the arm bend, arm bend's pretty good. You know, you got a, a really decent bend as you can see right there. Uh, and then the whole form itself can actually rotate like that. So I think that's pretty dope. And then you're gonna have uh, different hands, so you are gonna have uh, basically a balled up fist. And you also have like an open hand like this, that way you can go ahead and store the beam sabers in there. And lastly, you're gonna have a trigger finger, and you are you are getting these hands for both uh, arms, but you will have a trigger, uh, trigger finger, so that way you can hold its gun. And then the wrist is gonna be on a single ball joint, like so, uh, which I think is, it's not really that great. I wish it had a little bit more articulation, um, but hey, it's not really too bad for what you get. Okay, so now on the other arm, um, this is basically asymmetrical, so this is going to be an extended piece. Uh, but it does have this little like hinge joint right here, um, to where you can pull this out, and then this is going to be, uh, you know, the thing for the shield. So it has its own little articulation that can move uh, basically all the way around, like so. All right, moving on to the waist. Uh, well, the waist is pretty good. I mean, the uh, the, the front skirts are really nice. Uh, no really, no real gimmicks, to be honest, when it comes to the skirts, uh, well, at least the front skirts. The side skirts, you can actually pull these out and you can expose. So in this case, you're gonna have an extra little piece right here uh, that is essentially the, um, the little shield mechanism. And then on this side, you pull this one out and you can actually pull out the beam sabers and that's gonna be on a ball joint so I can kind of like rotate up and forward however you want, which I think is super, super cool. And then on the back skirt, this doesn't move at all, uh, but this part is going to slide down and then you can pull this out and then release uh, this little like claw mechanism. So if you wanna go ahead and store uh, the bazooka, you can definitely do so. Okay, and there is a little gimmick with the waist. Uh, so essentially, you just take the uh, the front little, you know, I guess uh, crotch piece right here, the crotch armor. Uh, you pull that forward, and then over here, you're just gonna like rotate this uh, forward like so. So these are just solid little pegs, which I really don't like. I wish they were kind of like the more normal master grades to where these can like rotate uh, back and forth. Uh, but if you're gonna want some like more, I guess, dynamic poses, um, then basically you, you're gonna have to pull this thing forward um, so that way he can kind of bend that waist part uh, just a little bit like so. So it does look a little weird, um, 
but overall i mean if you i'm just saying if you want like a super super ab crunch or at least uh kind of like the illusion of an ab crunch you can definitely do so uh like that okay so looking at the legs uh they only have one gimmick which is going to be back here for the uh the after image but we'll go over that in a little bit uh, first, I just want to go ahead and point out some of the articulation with them. So, the legs are going to be, be able to go out that far, which, eh, it's, I guess it's pretty good. Now, this is uh, also something I, I wanted to point out. These things right here, they don't want to snap in. Now, I don't know if this is kind of like, you know, user error, like maybe it was something I didn't do. But it's actually for both of the legs, um, maybe not as much as this one over here. Uh, but you can just see that big old crease right there it doesn't it doesn't want to snap in um so i don't know if that's something with the inner joint right there um like the little part this part right here uh being too big if it is then you may have to uh shave it down or uh, you could do the easy route in my opinion is get some clamps uh use some cement or glue and then just hold this down and then let it just let it dry and then uh, it'll be tight so easy fix but um yeah let me know in the comments below if uh, whoever has built this uh, mobile suit if you actually experienced that little issue right there now it can uh, also go up not really too far well actually i take that back i guess it's pretty far because the only reason i said not too far because this thing is just really going to hinder a lot of it see like it's kind of like popping off already uh so i don't really want to push it out too far uh but this is going to be hindered in itself thus hindering uh the overall you know front leg of the uh you know front articulation of the leg uh and then it's not really going to be able to go back too far because this part is going to be solid so you have to like kind of like maneuver around it and then also right here you're going to be able to uh get a little bit of a swivel right there which really isn't too bad right here on the knee so you're just going to have a little bit of articulation uh so nothing really too crazy it looks pretty good but i do wish they had some kind of like uh separation like armor separation with the knee um i mean generally if you're going to make a 2.0 out of a kit i want to see some separation at the knee i think most people will kind of agree unless they're really trying to go with a very super solid anime accuracy but um you know i just i want to see some knee action then you're going to have some nice little gold under, under here. I'm pretty sure you can see that, but uh, you're going to have some gold underneath these vents, uh, which looks super, super good and clean, um, especially like in person, like, you know, you kind of tilt it in the right way and like, ooh, you got some nice little, little gold in there. Uh, but overall, looks pretty good, like the yellow on the knees, that looks solid. Uh, you are going to have this little ankle skirt right here, which basically goes up and down. And then the foot, I think, is, is a slight disappointment, but it's also really awesome. The reason I say that, so it can go forward that far. So if, you, if you're really trying to get some like kneeling positions or something like that, I mean, that's really going to be able to uh, hit that sweet spot. But it can't go backwards. It can't go the other way, and that's kind of a disappointment. Uh, and this part kind of really just can't go much of anywhere, but they can rotate side to side so if you're want if you're wanting to like really get some um some really dynamic stances on the ground then it's really going to be able to do you know do some awesome stuff but I, I really love uh articulation to where the, the toe can kind of point downwards because it gives like some some of your poses uh more of that di like dynamic kind of um action but overall uh legs aren't bad at all uh there's not really much in terms of like great you know great or crazy gimmicks uh, i guess the only thing that's like really good is uh you got that little you know white piece right there so when you move the leg up it kind of just like connects with the front leg as you can see right there but that's not anything uh too spectacular in my opinion Okay, so the first weapons I want to go ahead and show is going to be the uh, VSBR units, uh, which are going to be right here connected on the back. Um, they are really nice because they have like this little uh, swinging gimmick, uh, which I'm pretty sure, I know the 1.0 has it. I don't know about uh, the high grade, but I'm pretty sure the high grade does have that as well, as well as the metal build. Uh, but essentially, they kind of just rotate down here. Now, the first thing you're going to do is basically extend that part right there. So that's pretty dope. Uh, this is gonna have a little handle, which I think I'm going the opposite way. There we go. So there's a little handle that pops out right down there and looks pretty good. And uh, basically gonna be on a little um, ball joint right here. So you can kind of just move all around however you uh, really want. And then you're gonna have this other little handle right there. Now there's one more thing this thing can do and let's pop out this little part right here, uh, which kind of gives it that extra little girth. And overall, I think the VSBR units are pretty awesome. Um, so awesome that these were probably like 
I, these may be the uh, the units I, I'm actually going to use instead of like the beam rifle or the bazooka. I'll probably just stick to these whenever I'm going ahead and uh, post it on my shelf. Uh, but they do look pretty good, and I think I think overall a very decent addition uh, to your kind of like pose arsenal. Okay, and the next weapon you're going to have is the beam rifle. Uh, there's nothing really spectacular that comes you know with this thing so uh, you do have the handle that can kind of rotate back and forth but it's very very loose um, so just watch out you know try and like keep it you know within um, the little piece that way uh, it's not really just gonna pop off or anything but uh, plugs into the hand you know pretty much like any normal other uh, master grade that has these type of hands so there's like a little socket that the the actual handle itself connects into um, but overall it looks pretty good and I know you can you know really pull off some great poses with this um, in which I'm gonna go ahead and do in the pose video uh, but overall it does look really really good okay and next you're gonna have the beam launcher uh, it's a really really cool weapon I mean I love the size of it, it looks pretty decent so uh, it's actually the same size as the F91 if it comes up to the shoulders um, so that's pretty cool um, now the only kind of like movements it's really gonna have is gonna be these uh, front little like flaps right here uh, other than that uh, the handle can kind of move forward a little bit and then the uh, ammo cartridge uh, this can actually pop out but I haven't seen anywhere that it can actually be stored um, so I mean if you, if you want it to uh, to be off you can take it off but I would just recommend keeping it on there and this is actually going to connect in the same way to the hand as the beam rifle so you just kind of plug it into the hand like so and then you're going to just snap it right into uh, the hand overall and it's going to have a very very secure um, you know kind of uh sorry a uh, very secure uh grip so overall looks really good and like like i mentioned before um you could really you could pull off some great poses with this thing especially when you get on a stand um that's kind of like what i'm excited to do is uh do the pose video for this guy because um i'm just very like really curious to put it on all these different poses i haven't done any of that yet so whenever i do the pose video it's really going to be in real time now the only thing I would say that this thing is missing is like an open hand, like one that's kind of like like this. Uh, I would I don't want to grab a kid off the shelf, but uh, basically a hand that's kind of like more like dynamic like that. That's what this thing is missing. It really just has like the fist and then like the open hand like this and then the, um, the little trigger finger. So uh, this thing would have really benefited if it had some uh, some different you know hand options, but you can really just go out there and buy some different uh, some you know different uh, third party or even some first party hands uh, for this kit but the only problem you're gonna have is since this is such a small kit uh, the hands might be too big so you're really gonna have to um, kind of like see exactly which hands gonna be the perfect match for it okay and the next weapon you're gonna have is the beam sabers uh, so I already showed you where to get them you just get them from the side skirts uh, right inside there and then they're gonna plug into the open hand uh, but overall, I mean, you're gonna get two beam effect parts for each beam saber. So if you want to put uh, both, you know, beam sabers in each uh, hand, like kind of like how it did uh, in the OVA, it was like spinning around all crazy. You can definitely do so. But uh, yeah, you do get two basic beam sabers. Okay, and the last weapon you are actually gonna have, which is not as much of a weapon as it is a defensive mechanism, is gonna be the shield. So the first thing you want to do, I guess, uh, let's go ahead and pull this out completely like that. And then you're gonna take the front cover off. And then next you're gonna go ahead and plug this right into here. And you just wanna keep those little pegs exposed. And you're gonna plug this right back in those sockets like so, and then bam. Now you have a nice little energy shield and it can move all around. So if you wanna go ahead and keep it like that or uh, kind of just rotate it however you want, you can definitely do so. Okay, so before I get into the other gimmicks of the kit, I just want to go ahead and point out that I only use the F91 uh, dry applies, and I did not use the stickers or the rest of the dry applies. Um, but you, if you want, you can definitely do so. I just decided to go with more of an anime accuracy, uh, which I didn't really see any other, uh, any other decals except for the F91. Uh, but yeah, I really wish this would have came with water size, because I might have been more inclined to actually use those uh, vice these. Okay, and you also get a Fairchild uh, pilot, uh, which is the kind of like love interest to Seabook, who is actually inside the F91. Uh, so if you want to paint these up, I think it'd be pretty cool to kind of have this like the, the little cockpit coming down, and then her, you know, maybe him uh, holding her or something like that, or having her kind of like on the the side, because hey, you get two different pilots, it's pretty dope. All right, next let's look in the after image effects. So uh, basically, you just need to pull these vents out 
like so. So you kind of tell you like, you know, pull it up like that and then bring this back down, uh, which you, you really don't have to, but you know, just kind of going by the manual and then just ever so slightly open those little three up and you're gonna do the same thing. So kind of put this up here and then you're gonna pull these out like so, just kind of make it a little bit straight and you're gonna pull these little three vents out like so, just kind of angle it perfectly. Okay, and the last thing you wanna do is these little back uh, leg vents open up, so you just gotta like kind of pry it open, so like so. Uh, basically, you just pull up the top one and these two will also come out with it. Uh, try it one more time and bam, just like so. Uh, which is pretty cool. I really like that little gimmick. Uh, just kind of like adds to the overall um, appeal and kind of aesthetic of the after image effects. Okay, so for height comparisons, uh, here he is next to the Mastigrade F97 Crossbone. Um, this is pretty much the same height. I don't really see much of a difference, but since they are, um, I think, I don't know if this one, I don't know if this was directly developed from this or if there was like some, I think there was some suits in between uh, that led to the development of the F97. I'm gonna have to look in my lore or if all my guys in the comments wanna go ahead and let me know uh, what suits came be came in between this or if this was directly uh, developed into this. Uh, definitely let me know. And here it is compared to a very old, high new uh, Master Grade. This is like the, I think it was like 2006 or something like that it came out or 2007. Uh, but yeah, it's very, very small uh, in comparison to one of these uh, much older UC um, master grades. And then here it is compared to a high grade, uh, the double O diver. So yeah, it's quite a bit of a difference, you know, but overall, uh, this is still going to be relatively a small suit. Okay, so now getting into the main gimmick of this uh, overall kit, um, you will have to buy a separate uh, lighting attachment, which is the lightning unit white. Uh, I believe there's gonna be some other colors, but I haven't really seen much information on that, or if there already is some uh, different colors, but this is about 20 bucks, so it's gonna kinda, I mean, it's gonna cost you. This kit's already 40 bucks, so 60 bucks if you wanna go ahead and light it all up. Now it does come with its own custom base, so all you really do need is gonna be the lightning unit, and uh, all you're gonna do is kinda like take these wires and they're gonna flow right through here and just be exposed right up there. So there's not really much piping, it just kinda goes inside the chest and I'll show you right now. All right, so basically you wanna go ahead and take the back part, uh, like the backpack part off, and there's gonna be a white piece right here. You're gonna take this off as well. So this is going to plug essentially right into the back like so and then you're gonna go ahead and plug the backpack directly over the um like so you're gonna uh, directly plug in the backpack over the stand uh so that way the piping is pretty much going to um well the lighting could be concealed within the chest okay and with all the lights on um this is how it's going to look so it still has a, a really good amount of lights that's going to be displayed so as you can see, there's not really too much uh, of a problem. And the chest is also going to be able to light up like so. Uh, turn it off and turn it on. So even with the lights, it looks pretty good, but let's go ahead and dim the lights just a little bit. Okay, so with the lights dimmed just a little bit, uh, let's go ahead and see how it looks. So it still looks really good, very, very visible, and the back is gonna shine very, very nicely just as well. But you're also going to be able to see uh, the little lights is going to be kind of, you know, coming through uh, through the backside. So if you want to kind of adjust it, you could definitely mod it to where you don't really see any of the light coming like from right here, um, and it's going to kind of bleed through the armor. But once you paint it, it shouldn't be any kind of an issue. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think it looks pretty cool. The only thing that would have made this thing way way better is if it had some lighting that went into uh, the head itself. All right, and lastly, if you want to connect it to a normal stand. Uh, you will also get this little like stand piece so you can go ahead and plug it into uh, the kit and then plug it onto a normal action base stand. Okay, so what are my overall impressions of this kit? Um, to be honest, I, I really like it. I, I think it's amazingly detailed. Uh, it's just the lighting unit being sold separately for an extra 20 bucks, bringing the kit to 60. I don't think is worth it at 60, even with the lighting gimmick. I think it's okay, but to me, it's not like, oh my god, this is like a game changer because it's just a, a light, you know, it's a light gimmick. Um, 
I wish the uh, the head pieces were more secured, uh, but once again, it might be a user error, so uh, that could be my fault. Um, just let me know in the comments below if you built it, if uh, you came across the same issues or not. Um, overall, the details aren't bad, but I do feel it's lacking in some details, like maybe some in the thigh uh, armor, um, maybe on top of the chest, you know, like, I so the shoulders definitely like there's not like a lot of detail um but there are some in certain areas and there's a lot of you know pretty decent gimmicks um it's just for forty dollars i guess it's i guess it's worth it for the forty dollar price tags i'm just thinking of like master grades um that cost around 40 bucks and like you know this this is a good contender uh for those type of kits i mean it, it's definitely not anything i don't think it's worth more than 40. i, I will say that right now um but I think for what you get, the different weapons, uh, the you get get a stand, so that's pretty dope. You know, any, any kit that comes with a stand is all, uh, pretty awesome in my book. Um, but you really, I, I I really do think that you don't even need to put too much work into it to make it look really good uh, on your shelf. But it's up to you guys. Uh, if y'all want to pick it up, definitely. I, I, like once again, I really do wish it came with water slides, um, which it doesn't. Um, but yeah, I bought it and i do i do enjoy it i think it's, i think it's gonna look pretty good on my shelf uh next to the other uh crossbone kits um but yeah guys that's that's pretty much all i have i don't really have much else i can say about this kit it, it doesn't really come with many stickers so that's a good thing uh, most of the things you could really just paint on your own which I, I did for all the parts on mine um but yeah overall it's a really really awesome kit and i i, I will recommend it at a 40 dollar or lower price tag um, going a little bit higher, that's going to be on y'all if, if you are a true fan of the F91 design uh, or any kit from like the Crossbone Vanguard uh, kind of um, timeline. But that's it for me guys, definitely thanks for watching. Uh, I will be doing a pose video, hopefully tomorrow I can go ahead and get that up and running. Um, but yeah, the pose, pose video will be next and then I'm going to start moving on to the GNX Ogre or the Ogre GNX. I'm going to start building that kit, I uh, don't really see myself reviewing that until maybe Monday night of next week or Tuesday due to me being in Kobe. Uh, but that's it. Definitely thanks for watching guys. Rate, comment, subscribe if you do enjoy these reviews. Uh, if you do have any kind of recommendations on how I can improve these videos for your uh, viewing pleasure, let me know in the comments below and I'll always go ahead and take those things into consideration and try and tweak some things here and there. Uh, but that's it guys. I will see you later. Bye bye.